See, I'm gonna get stuck now with that song. Now it's in my head. Sorry. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. So this is a very special video because I don't not gonna do this very often. It might be a one-off. It's a tag video, but it's a tag video with a difference because obviously. Uh, if you know the channel, I try and concentrate on bookish content, um, but I call my channel Books, Songs and Other Magic because there's music content on there as well. But the tags are pretty much exclusively book related. But I thought it would be nice to do a song related tag. So my motivation for this specifically for now is that um, I've, got, I've got really excited because uh, I just did, I just um, got a ticket to see They Might Be Giants in November and uh, I'm so excited about it. It's the third time I would have seen them and uh, I, they, I just love them to death and I think it's just going to be so exciting. They're playing at the Roundhouse in London in November so I'm going to see They Might Be Giants. But also, uh, that's kind of like the end of the year and in a couple of weeks I'm going to be seeing something quite incredible which is going to be at the Pulse of Guild Hall, and I'm going to be singing a 50th anniversary concert of Mike Oldfield playing Tubular Bells. So Tubular Bells is a really important album for me, and uh, I can't believe that I'm going to be seeing it live. Can't believe he's coming out of his cave to do some more gigs. Uh, so, so yeah, it's a big deal, and I thought I would honour the moment where I'm going to see Mike Oldfield playing Tubular Bells live by putting this tag up on the day that I go see him. So this is should be the 3rd of March, unless something has gone horrifically wrong. It should be the 3rd of March, and this song tag has appeared, and it's a bit of a one-off, but these prompts are all about songs, or music, and I'm gonna tag tons of people at the end, because I imagine some people might go, well, I enjoyed that, but I'm not gonna do it myself because I want just bookish stuff on my channel, which is fair enough. But there's a bunch of people up that, that I think might be up for it. So we'll see what see how it goes. So see if you like these prompts. So um, the first prompt is name a song that always makes you happy. So for that, I'm going to pick in Kiri by Mr. Mister. Every time I hear that song, it makes me so happy. I love it so much. And I love everything about it. The production is really awesome. And it really kind of... Uh, uh, takes me back to when I was a kid as well, but it's just a glorious kind of sort of power rock thing, uh, and it's just oh, it's just awesome. So I love the way the um, it's arranged as well, the way the, sort of the instruments come in and stuff. But anyway, Kiri, Mister Mister, uh, is my choice for that number one prompt. Number two, name a song that is a great fit for when you're in a pensive mood. So. Um, I'd really recommend this song to anybody who doesn't know it. So there's a great songwriter who who was the front man in Men at Work, and his name is Colin Hay. And he wrote this beautiful song called Waiting for My Real Life to Begin. And I always put I put it on so often. I put it on I always put it on when I can, when I'm in that mood where I wanna just reflect on the day or reflect on the week or something's bothering me. And it really does do a huge job in, in sorting my head out and clearing my mind. So Waiting for My Real Life to Begin is a beautiful song, so check that out if you haven't heard it already. So that's my uh, reaction to prompt two. Uh, prompt number three is name a song that changed your taste in music. So is there a song that kind of a little bit of a sliding doors moment where you discovered a style or... Um, a band that was quite a significant thing for you, or in my case, an instrument. So I'm going with Thick as a Brick by Jeffro Toll. So when I heard Thick as a Brick, I hadn't really um, properly soaked up the idea of the acoustic guitar as a major instrument. And I was listening to mostly rock music, and uh, when I heard Thick as a Brick, it really sold the acoustic guitar to me and I started listening to loads of folky stuff and, and I was I think I was 16 at the time and I uh, just maybe 15 
might have been 15. Um, and it really made a big difference to what I was listening to. And I started listening to a lot more acoustic stuff. So Thick as a Brick by Jeff Rattel was a big deal for me for that reason. Uh, prompt number four, name a recent song that you just discovered and loved. So I didn't write any notes for this. So, so why have I done that? So I need to think this through. Hold on. A recent song I've just discovered. Okay, it's not massively recent, but it's relatively recent. So it was about two years ago, which is really not that recent, but I absolutely love it. And that's um, Colours by the Black Pumas. Um, I really love that song. So I'm going with that one. So it's only, it's actually a couple of years. But I'm going with that. So there we go. It just stumped me for a minute. <laughs> my own question uh, prompt number five uh, name three bands or artists that you love so simple one is there three bands because if I said what's your favourite band or artist it would be hard to pick one so three might be easier for people to answer so I'm, I'm pick, I mean I've loved loads and loads of bands but I'm picking three that are really up the top um, and that's XTC Midnight Oil and Bare Naked Ladies XTC if you haven't heard their stuff, um, they're um, a new wave band from the um, late 70s and 80s and uh, they had quite an interesting history where um, members left. They, they didn't tour anymore and they got really studio based and did some really interesting things. Uh, Minute Oil, Australian band, really political, um, but just incredible sound and probably my favourite front man, um, in, uh, Pete Garrett from Minute Oil. And Benek Ladies, Canadian band, sometimes funny, but sometimes beautiful lyrics when they're serious and just an awesome sound. And um, I, I've, I've seen Benek Ladies possibly more than anybody else. Um, I was trying to think about what band have I seen more than anybody else. It might be Benek Ladies. Um, so those, those are the three I'm going for for that one. Number six, what instrument would you like to be able to play? So... For the people I'm going to tag that don't play an instrument, obviously that's an easy one. Just what would you like to be able to play, and anyone that does play something. So I have, I don't, I know there's a couple of people I'm going to tag that do play. What would you like to play that you don't play? So I uh, am a singer, guitarist, drummer. Um, I, I dabble in mandolin and um, bazooki a little bit, but what would I like to be able to play? I tell you what, I like two years ago. When I got ill, um, I bought an oud, and uh, it's, it's it's a lovely thing, but I can't play it yet. So I'd love to be able to play my oud, and if I do ever end up being able to play it, I might put something up on YouTube for me playing it. Um, but I think it's just such a lovely, lovely instrument, and it's quite different from anything else I've got. It's it's got no frets. The plectrum is like that long, and uh, the tuning's different. Um, it's just a completely different way of playing so uh, yeah I've got to really spend a lot of time learning the oud if I'm going to play that but that's what I'm going for. for for me that's what I'd love to be able to play my oud uh, and then what's the next one prompt number seven is name a fiction book where music or songs is a big part of the narrative so I'm going with Songs for a New Day by Sarah Pinsker which I thought was really good. And it's got this sort of um, dystopian um, setting where they're trying to ban music and there's a musician that's trying to keep um, her live career alive. And it's just, uh, she meets these underground musicians. It's really cool. So I'm going with um, Songs for a New Day for, or Song for a New Day for that prompt. Uh, so there's that one bookish question in there because I think, you know, Got to, got to respect what his channel's all about. And then um, the eighth prompt is to tag people. So here we go. These are gonna, like, all these people are going to tag to see if uh, you guys want to do it. So um, there's Very Literary Carrie, Bart J. Gilbertson, um, Matt Wall, who I know is a musician, so he might be up for this. Pax Panic, because uh, Pax, when you're ready to do it... Um, and, you know, uh, I'd love to see you back on there doing new stuff anyway, which you did obviously recently. But if you are up for doing it, yeah, your tags are amazing. 
and all your videos are amazing. Uh, Andrew from It Came From The Page. Mike from Fit To Be Read. Again, Mike might want to just concentrate on books on this channel, which is absolutely fair enough. Uh, but I know he's got an interest in music because he does, he writes um, original parody songs for his channel, which is really cool. I always enjoy those. Uh, the Bookish Drummer. Um, he might be up for this. Bad Is Rad. Um, sounded like um, she was up for doing it from a comment she made when I announced I might be doing this. Vin from Reverend Reads. Uh, MJ from Reading This Life. I know she's got an interest in music. Uh, David Wiley. <laughs> uh, he might be interested in doing this. Um, someone else from the David Bowie project we're doing. Um, Jack from Spread Book Joy. Aaron Facer. And Dave and Olive from Brook Blather. Oh, and also Shannon's bookish musings and and music. <laughs> There's quite a lot of people, um, but I know some people might go, no, I just want to do books, which is fair enough. But some people might be up for this because it's kind of an interesting to chat about music as well. So, yeah, there we go. Um, some favourite songs of mine. Um, let me know in the comments below if you like some of those bands or songs, if that's given you some memories, like talking about Kiri or something like that. And... Uh, uh, big shout out to Kate um, because uh, <laughs> you might know how much I love Kate Bush. Uh, but in the meantime, thanks a lot for watching this. I'll be back with more bookish stuff, obviously next. Um, this is this is not like a new direction or anything. This is just like a one-off thing to celebrate the fact that today, tonight, when this goes up, I'll be watching Tubular Bells live. <laughs> yes. What it's like to be you Sit up on your high chair On the outside looking through I know where you're going I won't follow you Your shoes.